Good me. morning and welcome to Mimosas in the Morning. I'm Leslie and I'm Holly. But today, today because of who we have, we got crowns to wear. And so I am if I queen on my head, I think military home really. base. <laughs> queen morning in the mimosas. Oh my. Mimosas in like the I morning. said, this must be Nellie's because it doesn't fit on my head. Apparently <laughs> it's just my head is just too it's just too beautiful. Big. There you go. Is it yeah, look at oh, oh, it's so oh, pretty wow. too. Look. Yes. My surprise this morning of one. Of one. But is that we're we are queens like our like our our beautiful Helena who has come to visit us today this morning. And to, she is a Air Force veteran, Miss Veteran America. I don't know what two are you, but you can explain that to me what that title means. I just Thank know you that. and she's the CEO and founder of Mutt's Sauce. Because and give her a name. Well, hold on. Wait, oh no! Apparently, we got a surprise. Before we got to do a little surprise before we do that. Like I said, it's because. always something. Look at her; she's scared. I'm not even got the candle, girlfriend. When am I here? She's on fire. Very nice. I love it. Hey. Boss Bang CEO. She is. There you go. The ground. Okay, I'm losing <laughs> circulation in my head, so I'm going to lose my tiara for that. All right. So thank you, thank you for joining us. Do you like your little surprise this morning? I love my surprise. Thank you, thank you. I tell you, when I get in the car and I hear that song, oh my God, you come to my mind. I'm like, oh, my beautiful <laughs> who is such putting the world on fire. I love it. Make really back I like the crown. That's a nice touch right there. <laughs> but I, but of course, I told you. I think that you should have a sauce named after me called the Carolina Spicy. Hey, Just, or saucy, but saucy. Either one. I you know I, I met her at the Mica event. You know that we met. I do. Yes, and so I didn't meet her exactly yet. I went to the table. They were over at a different table. And I'm sitting there tasting all your sauce. And I'm like, oh, let's mix this one and this one. I call it Carolina Spicy. <laughs> and then later on that day, we were in a class again. And I'm looking at her going, oh, I love your sauce. And you're so pretty. And you're so nice. You got like, you're like the whole package. I love you. <laughs> Listen, she is so good for the self esteem. It's not even funny. Well, she is a Clemson graduate. So. I have to boost her a little bit even more. She's a semi Carolina girl because she has that, right? Exactly. I think no. they give you like state citizenship just because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why don't you tell us a little about your business, how you got started, uh, just a little of your background for our viewers watching today. Yeah, sure. So my name is Sherlinda Scales, born and raised in Tennessee. Um, I was in the military in the Air Force when I learned that I inherited a recipe from my grandfather. His name was Charlie Farrell. He was an aircraft mechanic in Korea and Vietnam. And he invented a sauce that you could use for every meal. So the story of Mutt Sauce is about him because his call sign was Mutt. They said he could blend in anywhere. Uh, and it's his sauce. So when I learned I inherited this recipe, I was active duty. I was stationed at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Georgia, Ohio. And um, I said, you know, I want to share this with everyone. I want, I don't want this to be something that I hoard to myself. I want to share this with anyone who's ever had it, with family and friends. And so I learned food manufacturing. I went to an organization called SCORE. And they provide free mentorship and they taught me how to have someone package and bottle my sauce that I could take out and sell to stores or farmers markets. And that's how the company started. 2013, we launched and I had 700 bottles. We sold all of them and we just keep making more sauce and selling it and spreading the good word. I had to ask her, when you found out that you inherited the, the special recipe, I would have just cried. But I'm, I'm such a blue. I don't know if you know what that means, but if you've ever taken the colors classes, I'm such a blue. I would just cry and cry. Um, How did you feel? like? I cried. Yeah, I cried <laughs> real tears. Because, you know, I was a, um, 
I was raised an only child, even though the house that I lived in um, early years, I lived with my grandparents and a couple of my cousins. So they were like siblings to me. And <clears throat> I've never really had the privilege of, you know how some people say only children are spoiled. I'm probably the only not spoiled only child. I thought my middle name was no. So. <laughs> That's a good set of household. That's a good one. Because you actually had to love. Because yeah. You know. My name was Charlene Deneau. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I, I, was, I was constantly reinforced by my grandfather that if you get something, it's because you earned it, uh, especially like money or um, possessions. Like you had to really work for it. So I was you know, talking to my mother and she said, well, he just gave you this. And I said, well, what do I have to do? I mean, that's how it was. I have to do something. She said, no, he just gave it to you. So that point was like, I broke down because I was like, I felt like that was my first like gift with nothing attached to it. But I still felt the obligation to do something. So that's why I did something. Well, how many employees do you have, have now? You know, how big has this grown since you started? Um, technically, I'm still the only employee. Um, I do have uh, my operations person. She, her name's Caroline. So she's on the team. She's, um, I get well, yeah, me and her. And then I have like 11 independent contractors mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in Tennessee. So. Also, my family, people wonder how my family is involved, that I was able to work with them. Yes, yeah, so my immediate family, they're actually all on the books as independent contractors for my thought. Which is important because it's a family recipe, it's a family name, it's a family, you know, you keep it in the house, right? Yeah. So I know that you have been in a bunch of magazines. And you're about to even branch out even bigger. Can you tell us? Can you tell us about some of the stores and the other? I, I'm all over Facebook going, girl, I'm so proud of you. Woohoo! So proud of you. <laughs> it's, it's really a blessing. And, and this whole journey, I, I tell people all the time, like this was a, it was a journey of humility and, and self-discovery because I've grown a lot in a short amount of time just from owning a business. And if, if you haven't discovered humility on an entrepreneurial journey, that's just a shame because I think that that will open more doors than anything. My grandfather told me humility will take you farther than money. So don't chase money. Um, I, you know, right now as it stands, we just got our contract with Kroger. So that's going to start in April, May. And I've been behind the scenes working my butt off to, uh, get ready for that. Also, we have some inventory left, and when Kroger has their first purchase order, they're going to want fresh sauce. So that means we have to sell off our entire inventory in the next couple months. So that's why if people don't see me all the time. If you don't see me on social media, I'm probably on the phone negotiating someone buying everything we have left. So, well, can it be purchased online for those of us who aren't in certain markets where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, four flavors of mutt sauce, original, sweet and spicy, ghost pepper, and gluten-free. And you can buy all of them on muttsauce.com. And she's going to have Carolina girls. Yes. It's going to be good. Spicy, tangy. <laughs> I know we need, we need to get her in touch with Publix, right? Absolutely. Publix is like in South Carolina and everywhere, so... Yeah, well, the great thing about Kroger is they're they're like an umbrella company now. So if you look oh, at yeah. Kroger, they actually own all like all the biggest name brands that you probably have seen in in your town. Maybe it's Harris Teeter or Publix. They're all owned yeah. by Kroger. Shout out Publix. We need some mud sauce down here, all over down the south. Right? Headquarters is only thirty minutes from us. I know. I think you should do a trip. I'm just saying, <laughs> come see us. I can have some fun. It's okay. I know. Well, right? you know, I, I can you already know. tell you that we're like super fun. So, right. uh huh. And we have the Air Force Base. So, we need to get uh, you there. You um, go. I'd love come to do, do a little display. That would be great, right? Got to get your foot better. 
Gotta get moving better. better. Gotta get gotta get them moving. Well, you know, yeah. we want to support you in any way we can mm -hmm. get rid of that uh, your remaining inventory, and yep. we'll definitely put your link to your business and to how people can purchase on mm -hmm. our site. And I want to look at it too because I can tell you, my family is all about different kind of sauce on different Good kind things. of things. And I think about my oldest son. He likes the spicy, and I'm thinking ghost pepper may be the way to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people are surprised by the ghost pepper because if you eat raw ghost pepper, it's really going to hurt. But this, our sauce is a sweet and tangy sauce, so mm -hmm. it kind of takes the bite out of the ghost pepper. So you're going to get a uh, delayed heat, but it's not going to knock you flat on your feet, you know. It's not a hallelujah moment. Yeah. You go, hallelujah. A good heat, not like a <laughs> take them to the hospital heat. Exactly. So with other people are going, this sounds great. I want to do it. Do you all, are there any recipes on your website or any sorting mm -hmm. suggestions, that kind of thing? So other yeah. people? Uh, there's a few uh, on the website. We also post them on our Facebook page from time to time, just stuff that people are trying. We repost. So if you're cooking with mutt sauce, we will, we will repost it. If we see it on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I will reshare it with all of our followers. So yeah. you can do so anything with it. I mean, Breakfast, lunch, dinner. We were just in a Bloody Mary contest because you mm -hmm. can make drinks out of mutt sauce. Really good. Ooh, maybe right now I have our time to let's have our mimosas. Cheers to you! Cheers. And she's got a cool she's got a Wonder Woman. Woman. I know. I know. Poor home last week she had a big old mustard cup, and here we're trying to be healthy for Heart Healthy Month. And I went to um, Tampa Bay's um, American Heart Association had their Heart Healthy luncheon on Friday, and they had this beautiful little chick, and she was inside this little metal like dress and had mimosas and i'm like okay so we can have mimosas and they're like yeah you skinny girl you know bethley franklin's like champagne so i'm like so see healthy mimosas got a little fruit we can yeah steal them out so you know heart healthiness and I'm it, it, like my heart they have her big monstrous one woman because she's putting the world on fire everywhere <laughs> So send us your links so that we can pull everything. So I want everybody to be able to go and get some good sauce. My father loved your sauce. Like I sent it to him. That was his gift whenever. Because they, they babysitted my kids for me to come to yeah. my military um, influence conference, which is going to be in D.C. this year. We'll be yeah. there. We're going to be in D.C. this year. Yeah. Have some good time. Meet some more people, right? It's always about networking and having a good time. And other businesses like this fabulous lady here who has mud sauce. So thank you. Thank for, you so much for allowing us to share and spread your love of your company and bless your grandfather for blessing you. Thank you. That's very humbling. And thank you ladies. Cause you know, I, I love how the community, we support each other and uplift each other. And I've definitely benefited from your support. And I just want to say thank you and thank you for what you do. And congratulations to you for yeah. the spouse thank you. of the year. It's an honor. Very well deserved. So. I'm very honored to be, you know. And for those who don't sure. follow, even though we slam it over everything that we have because we're so proud of her, she did get Military Spouse of the Year for McDill Air Force Base. Yes. Um, yeah, Armed Forces Insurance. Yes, Military so Spouse. We are very proud I have to give kudos to the company because. They, they created this, a spouse created it, actually. A spouse created this program. And then a wonderful company owns the program who believes in spouses and, you know, gives back to our community in so many ways. So thank you. As does this girl right here. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. proud of her. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so, so much, much for joining us. Yep. And remember, we're all princesses. Yes. Queens. Queens. Yes. And, and mimosas and good sauce to go with it, right? Love it. Love it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye, my friend. Have a wonderful week. Okay. And military Get home base. Remember, we're bringing you home one base at a time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good week. <laughs> bye. Okay.